We start out for the first of these two memorable lunches in the fishing village of Camoli, where we catch the morning passenger ferry to San Frutoso Bay. Other people had already beat us to the top deck in the open air, so we sat at the bow, which turned out to be fantastic. There, the 30-minute ride to San Frutoso Bay comes with refreshing spray from the water and a totally unobstructed view of the soaring cliffs. And with the wind brushing our faces as we sped along, we were like happy dogs with their heads out of the car window. Okay, hi everyone. We're here at uh, San Frutuoso Beach. We're at the Cantina restaurant. And this beach is only accessible via boat or via a very long and arduous hike. We decided to take the boat, not only because the water is gorgeous today and the sun is out and we love to be on the water, but also the hike is rated difficult and dangerous. And in order to reach the beach here, you need to climb along the cliff holding onto cables. Not for us. So we're now sitting at our table at the Cantina restaurant. We uh, reserved the table last night. So if you do plan to come here, make sure you reserve ahead. There's only three or four here that are right on the beach. Um, there's a few more up at Paris, but the prime spots are the ones here on the rocks. And we're looking forward to eating a marine meal. They have the menu up here on the stone wall and we already are pretty sure what we're going to get. Yeah, calamari looks pretty good. We've been lusting after fried calamari. I don't know if these are fried or not, but we'll find out. The spaghetti di pescatore, which should be a seafood spaghetti, I got my eyes on too. And maybe the pesce alla braccia, which should be grilled fish, but we don't know yet what the fish of the day is. And the water looks beautiful today. It's been stormy um, waters the last couple days, even though it's been beautiful weather and sunny. And so this will be the first chance to go swimming. And so I think I'll go do that before we start lunch. I already dipped my toes in the water to <laughs> test the temperature. How was it? It's chilly, but <laughs> manageable. I didn't go beyond my knees, which is kind of a danger zone, but uh, we'll be fine. I see a lot of people going in slow and then coming back out, so I think this needs to be one of the ones where you just like go in, dive in. All right, we received our first fish here, the calamari fritti. Bit of a special request since it wasn't on the menu. Cheers. That is beautiful too, with all the shells and the... Bellissimo, si. Perfetto, grazie. Gradisce la testa? Um, you want the head? No. No? no? Okay. The food is good, but on its own, not exceptional. What makes the meal exceptional is the setting, the friendliness of the staff, and the journey to get there. This time, we started our journey in San Rocco, in the hills above Camoli. It's often easier to find parking there, and because you're starting at the peak, the hike to the restaurant is downhill. Which is nice in the beginning, but you do have to pay for it at the end of the day, when you have to climb back up from Camoli. And it's not an easy hike as you'll see toward the end of the video. 
Even though we hike downhill, the August sun covers our skin with sweat by the time the path levels at the sea and the restaurant nears. That's when we spot people on a boat ramp acting like it's a beach, just 50 meters from lunch. We're not sure what's going on, but we copy everyone else, put down our towels, dig out our swimsuits, and hit the natural turquoise pool using a rope to cross the slippery rocks before splashing into the cool water. The little makeshift beach also has a fresh water shower for us. So we make our way to the restaurant as if the swim was the plan all along, just as tidy as all the other guests who mostly arrive by ferry or private boat. We just had a nice swim, and we're going to eat some lunch now. I always thought innocent Turks didn't exist, but this wine proved me wrong. Haha, <laughs> you're so funny. Salute. Salute. This lunch is so fun. We order four dishes, one at a time, sharing each one, and taking time to savor them. The food is excellent. Delicate flavors and creative twists to classic dishes all with a priceless turquoise view dotted with boats. Before we realize what is happening, we end up spending three hours at Dos Badin. And while the food and ambiance was excellent, it was the total experience of the hike to get there, the swim to refresh before lunch, and the boat ride back that made this one of the best days of our trip so far. But we still had to climb back up to our car in San Rocco, a strenuous 40 minute hike uphill. So we decided to fill our gas tanks with Aperol Spritz first. After briefly contemplating taking a taxi back up the hill, we dug deep and found the energy to schlep ourselves back up a seemingly endless number of stairs to San Rocco. Where we encountered a gathering of neighbors having a spirited debate in local dialect. We started this incredible day at 10 in the morning here on top of the mountain at San Rocco's tiny piazza and completed our circle by 6 in the evening. Ba ba da ba ba